Hello girls and boys how's it going So if you're at the initial start of your career this video might save you years of wasted effort If you're feeling stuck in your career then this video might help you unlock a couple of things and help you propel forward If you're looking to extrapolate your career this video might just give you some of those nuggets that you've been looking for a really long time but a fair warning before i start the video this video is going to be brutal and some of these things that i tell you are going to hit you and are going to hit you hard so be ready for it there is no sugar coating in this video it's straight as it comes because this is coming from my own personal experience of having been around for 20 plus years this is not an influencer who's talking about stuff that he has read i have the battle scars to show and that is what i'm talking to you from this is a straight from the heart video this is about mistakes that nobody else will tell you about if you're new here my name is savinder puri and i have been in the build release devops software engineering area for over two decades you can go on linkedin and check out my profiles and my credentials let's get started so brutal truth number 1 you are either chasing the wrong thing or chasing too many things let me give you an example of what's could be going on so a lot of people come and ask me hey i'm trying to do a certification on red hat or pmp or an ai certification right when i ask them what it really means and why any of these certifications they have no real answer just that somebody told me i think it's cool to do or somebody comes to me and says hey i'm uh, i have interest in front end development but along with that i'm also trying to learn devops uh, i'm also reading a lot about ai and ml these days i'm also interested in web3 and i heard the market for solana is really hot so i'm also dabbling and reading about that a little bit now what is wrong in all of this i'll tell you what's wrong maybe where all of this is coming from is that you follow your youtuber bhaiya or didi and just blindly accept what they are telling you or you're just looking at youtube thumbnails this guy got placed for 30 lakhs 50 lakhs and you're getting intimidated and saying hey that is exactly what i want to do what is happening as a result of this is that you were doing a bit of everything and not really doing anything at all to crack an interview to get a job even to succeed at a job that you've done so what should you be doing instead whether you're in college whether you're in a job whether you're 5 years 10 years experience once you know what your core domain is going to be at least for now then put on the blinders and focus on that learn things and focus for at least one year get deep into it of course keep an eye on what's going on in the world that's fine that's perfectly okay you should do that but do not lose focus get deep expertise in at least one subject that would be your core that is what you interview in that is what you will be known for in your team specialized first explore later brutal truth number 2 dsa is not equal to career growth what's happening what do i mean so you've probably mastered 3 400 dsa questions you can solve these questions faster than i can even take a print out of these questions and you've even managed to crack dsa based interviews and now you think you will make it in the software field What's wrong in this? DSA might help give you an entry, but it will not help you to write good code, to fix defects, and to actually ship products. See, understand, DSA has been devised as a way to quickly check your programming language, but it's not a replacement for the ability to write good code. to become a good developer to become a good qa to become a good devops engineer it doesn't do any of those 
so what are you supposed to do how do you how do you go about it first focus on system design what am i trying to build what problem am i trying to solve what um, process am i trying to automate what am i trying to deploy once you do that then understand how do you do it manually because once from a devops perspective if you do it once manually you exactly know step 1 2 3 4 to step 10 then figure out what is the best tool to do it is it on premise is it cloud is it cloud native is it open source pick the right tool stack and then start automating if you are in the world of programming figure out what is system design figure out how the architecture will be look beyond the problem statement look a little up down left and right understand it from all perspectives and then go and solve the problem dsa is how you get the job core development skills is how you keep your job brutal truth number 3 your side projects are useless what's happening what's going on so you've built a weather app you've built a to do list you've built a portfolio site you've built an ai recognition system fantastic only problem thousand others have already done it 50 others in your college have done the same project what's wrong in this a it is something which everybody else is doing b you've most probably taken an open source code modified it a little bit painted shaped it a little bit and you're presenting it as your own that's where the problem is you've not fundamentally altered the open source project and made it your own you've not added a big enough meaty enough feature to be able to call it your own you've not done the analysis and the deep research behind which ai algorithms you are using why you are using them what is the comparative study you cannot answer any of these questions and that can land you in trouble when you are facing job interviews because they don't just look at the project they look at your thinking behind the project your understanding of the project that is what matters build for impact not just for github stars brutal truth number 4 you cannot explain your work now assume you've done all of what i've told you in the project you've built something fantastic which solves a real world problem even if it is for 20 people in your college you've built some time tracking app which is real which is powerful 50 people in your college are using it you have real data you can show the app live you've done a great job at it what i find lot of youngsters struggling is how do you explain this in 30 seconds in 3 minutes in 10 minutes if you just start mumbling and rambling then you have not really been able to articulate what you've built so you should be able to articulate your project in all these three flavors very very quick simple summary and in great level of detail that is when you've really understood what you've built and you've practiced it and this is an art which you can practice write these three versions of what you've done go in front of the mirror read the dialogues learn it by heart obviously it's not just learning it's the basic understanding behind it but communication is an art and a science that you can learn go do it genius isn't about complexity it's about clarity of thought brutal truth number 5 you are comparing timelines what's happening so you see a 20 year old on linkedin a 22 year old on a youtube video who's making 30 lakhs 50 lakhs who's got a remote job from the us and you think his ki life to set ho gayi his life is set and you personally start feeling like a complete loser what you don't know is the story behind the thumbnail is the story behind the linkedin article you don't know that they have been programming since they were 8 years old you don't know of how many hackathons they have done of how much hard work they have put in over the years you are just seeing the poster what do you do instead you realize that everybody's journey is different everybody's timeline is different everybody's circumstances are different you are not that person 
that person is not you what you can do is get inspired by these not get intimidated by this and come back take that inspiration and blinders on focus on your work be smart be intelligent but put in the goddamn hard work there is no replacement for that be patient with yourself but be strict with your habits brutal truth number 6 you have plateaued in your career without even realizing it and i see this in a lot of people who are slightly senior especially who are sitting in plushy comfortable dare i even say product based companies that's where i've seen this happen quite a lot happens in services as well but basically you've been doing the same job for past 3 5 years you have been in the same technology stack with more or less the same responsibilities with the same team you know things inside out that is when you should realize wake up and smell the coffee the dude i have become stagnant and the water started stinking here what do you do now very simple thing i'll tell you audit the last 6 months one year and here's how you should look at it what new things did you learn what new courses did you do whether on your own or whether you bought it not the ones that your company sponsored but by yourself what impact did you make what growth did you achieve in the organization how many new people have you met not just in your office even outside office and if the answer to all of these questions is not much then you know what's wrong comfort today is unemployment tomorrow i told you some of this will hit and it will hit hard but that's the purpose of this video brutal truth number 7 you still think it's all about the code Now what's happening given a problem statement you're still thinking what is the best way to solve this one problem you're still optimizing for speed and smart solutions this is not just about coding this is about devops this is about being an sre this is about any role but you're still thinking tactical and that one problem statement what's wrong with this as you increase in your seniority you are expected to think bigger because your value is no longer solving that defect solving that one problem statement your value is less about lines of code delivered it is more about the value of the code delivered it is more about architecture it is more about decision making it is more about delivery it is more about mentorship it's more about the impact that you make and your circle of influence what do you do you start thinking you start thinking like a technology leader and learn stakeholder management because as you progress in your career that is one of the most important skills to learn you start documenting your decisions you start mentoring people you start building teams and you start enabling teams you start talking impact and not just problem solved you start talking revenue top line bottom line effort saved you extrapolate what you have done and take it to the next level and not just say i have solved 30 defects or i have shipped two new features not just that but impact made to your organization to your customer that's how you start moving up the ladder brutal truth number 8 and this is again one of my favorites my salary or my promotion hikes are not happening i'm doing all the effort now that is a very very wrong way to think about it that if i just do my job and i do it well then the company's responsibility and company's job is to come and recognize me in an ideal world that should happen i agree but the world that we live in is far from ideal hopefully you've realized it by now what's wrong this girls and boys is no longer college this is the real corporate world your visibility matters in fact it is the only thing that matters at a lot of places so what do you do instead you do your work 
you do it well but then you also learn how to market your work market the work that you have done not by stealing others credit not by showcasing others work as yours not by doing any of those hanky panky things but just doing your work itself is not enough learn the art of how to market your work speak up at the right meetings send the right emails to the right people get the validation on emails and meetings from the people that matter let the word spread and it has to be consistent month after month quarter after quarter people have to keep knowing that okay this job you've done well this meeting you've done well this solution you've designed well this customer problem you've solved well it has to be consistent over a long period of time and you have to solve problems for a number of people in the organization and that is why when the time comes for promotion for salary hikes your name is still dominant in the decision makers head and that's when you get those things you cannot be promoted in silence speak up brutal truth number 9 you are managing your work not multiplying impact if i just ask you to open up your outlook right now and look at your calendar if i see meeting followed by meeting followed by another meeting late into the night block by block by block and very few open slots all you have managed to do is become a busy bee where is the impact of this meeting day the full day you are just running from one meeting to the other meeting when is the time to think when is the time to create impact what do you do instead stop take a pause open up your calendar and look at how the last one month has been how many open slots do you have then delegate stop micromanaging enable others to do the stuff keep an overall eye but don't get into every other decision before you join a meeting ask what value am i adding here am i really required for this meeting one of my previous bosses whenever he used to walk into a meeting the first question he was asked is why am i in this meeting and if he did not get a good enough answer in the next 60 second he would say guys thank you for your time you might continue send me an email i will look at it and he would walk out of that meeting every 30 minutes that you spend in a meeting better be worth it if you are the smartest person in the room and you are doing everything you have failed as a leader and brutal truth number 10 you have become a career bureaucrat <laughs> what do i mean by that what is happening you speak in classic corporate lingo you talk frameworks you talk decks you talk road map but you haven't actually touched code or whatever your equivalent of code is in years you haven't spoken to the customer if that's your role in months you haven't created a proof of concept if that's your work in many many months you haven't got your hands dirty on the keyboard in a really really long time check that this keyboard is supposed to do a lot more than just create presentations and excel sheets that's not the power of this keyboard that's not where you drive value so what do you do get back to hands on the more technologically connected you are the better it is the safer it is figure out what hands on means to your world but become hands on step away from corporate jargon and connect between strategy and execution if your jargon is strong but your thinking is weak you are a liability you're not a leader all right those were my 10 brutal truths if even if one of them hit you hard girls and boys it is time to reflect to refocus and then to rise hope this made sense i've got more videos on this channel to help you be the best version of yourself i'll see you in the next one